This video is brought to you by PDF Element Pro, the most productivity PDF editing tool for working from home during this season. So with PDF Elements, you can use on different devices like Windows, Mac and iOS. With PDF Element, it is pretty simple. All the tools can be found on the left. Moreover, you can edit, remove, customize font, change font color, highlight and so on. You can even convert your document or PDF into many different files. Further information can be found in description and comment. Welcome back. I hope you are doing well. Today, I have got you my top 5 essential tweaks. I think you should get it on your phone for your daily usage. And it does support on iOS 13 to 13.4.1. Now let's get started to the first one. So if you take a look on my home screen, you can see a little bar on the right. So this is the tweak that allows you to access any app much quicker. So you just slide from the left and you can see the app is pop up. So you just um, scroll up or down and then select the app. So I can select to go to clock and you can see or I can slide within the app. So you can see the bar as well. So I can slide here and then I can go to settings. This tweak is called install launchers tool. So you can go to customize and then we have um, three different style right here. So we have classic. If you select on classic, you're gonna slide and you can see here. All of the app are listed. So by the name, so you can go to from A to Z and you can see here we have right here. Or you can select on drawer, you can slide here, you can see we have awesome style. But for me, I like dark the most, so I usually select on dark. You can see we have four apps right here, so you can select more than four apps. So you just go to favorite apps and just select and enable the app that you want. So I can enable here and then I can enable um, calculator right here. And then it just um, slide again. You can see here there are six apps available right here. We have activation side, so you can select either for the bar to appear on the left or on the right. So if I select on the left, you can see the bar is moved to the left. We have here it is indicator side, so you can resize this bar as well. You can see it is much bigger or it is much smaller. We have position right here where you can. Uh, Move the bar, you can see here, we can move to the bottom or we can move to the top. Move on to the other essential tweaks. So this is the tweak that allows you to add widgets into control center. And as you can see, when I slide down my control center, we have weather widgets right here. This is not only weather, you can add different widgets for control center as well. So you can go to settings and then you can go to control widgets. And you can select the widget right here. So you can see we have a bunch and we have a lot of widgets. So I'm gonna select on batteries. I can select here. And when I slide down, you can see we have battery widgets right here. So for those of you that install for the first time, you gonna add the um, you gonna add control widget to control center. Otherwise, you don't see it. So you gonna go to control center go to customize control and you can see we have um, control widget right here let me um, delete it first so first time you add it you're gonna see control widgets at the bottom so you're gonna click on plus button and then you can move this widget to the top so you can hold and then move to the top and you will see control widget appear on the top right here multiple line for the tweaks it will add additional feature to your dock and this is a live version of multiple. We have some feature available for this free version as well. Let me demonstrate so I can go to home screen. You can see the dock right here and you can see the label, it is apps. Or I can swipe up. It's gonna go to music player right here. So you can play the music from here. Now you can see. Or you can go to the next or to the previous song or you can pause. Or you can swipe up again to go to the apps. It is very awesome. And then you can go back to settings to customize the tweak. So we don't have much to customize right here because this one it is a live version. But um, it is very awesome. At least we have two features. And if you want to have more features, you can purchase um, the tweaks. I think for the tweak, previously I did a review on the tweaks as well. 
but I think it is very essential for you to use in your daily usage and it's, this is the trick that allows you to lock any app on your home screen so without you, they cannot open this app so you, you need to confirm with your face ID or touch ID so you just simply go to settings and go to the tweaks and then you're gonna go to lock apps and as you can see here we can enable the button to lock the app for example I want to lock the camera I just enable this button and then I can go back and the tweaks does work without the spring so now we can go to camera and as you can see it asks me to confirm with my face ID and if you have touch ID device it's gonna ask as well so now let me try again as you can see, as soon as my face is confirmed, it's gonna pop up the camera. This is also the best tweaks that you should get as well. It allows you to turn the icon into the widget on your home screen. And I think this feature should port into iOS 14 and I hope Apple does it as well. And we don't know yet, but this is the tweak that you should need on your daily usage. It's gonna add additional information to your app icon. So let's say I want to add a widget on the clock. I just force type and you can see uh, we look right here so you're gonna click on it and then you're gonna choose the widget size but I'm gonna go to small I just enable this button you can see now the clock turned to the widget and we can see um, more information about the clock and now let's go to let's say I want to go to weather I can force type then I can select on here and I can just select the size you can see we have the weather right here now let's go to the app store i can force type and i can select on we look here and i can enable the size and you can see here on the app store you can see on the app store now we can view all of all of the app inside the app store right here just like the apple watch finally thank for watching i hope you like this video and then we'll catch you guys in the next one and by the way, if you want to get the theme, you can check them out in the description. I also include the theme and the wallpaper as well.